to do a do, to do a do a do, to do a do a do. But kind of like a, hmm, I don't know what the smeet, the smeet swell. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little lip swatch party for y'all today. This is gonna be on the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. So I have all 10 shades here. They were so sweet to send these to me, so I thought it would be a fun video to do, to do a do, to do a do a do, to do a do a do, to do a little lip swatch party for y'all and show you swatches on my lips, show you swatches on my hand, and yeah, just a little lip swatch party. So let's get into it. This first one's a lot of fun. It is definitely metallic. It's very kind of like a golden, bronzy sort of a color. This is number 01 Chromatic Addict. This is probably one that I would use as like a topper to kind of put over something, to add some dimension to something. If it had maybe like a little bit more pink to it or peachiness or something, I would probably wear it by itself. I would maybe wear it by itself. I don't know. Maybe so but it's definitely the most kind of like metal looking. You know what I mean? Like you would see actual metal that would be this color. So yeah, that's number one, Chromatic Attic. Next is number zero two, Materialistic. This one is really fun. I like this one a lot. It's kind of just like a chocolatey bronzy color. I think this would be a beautiful fall shade. Love this one. So it's got like, chocolates and goldeny sort of shades and coppery kind of a tone to it. I don't know. Really cool shade. Love this one. This one's number 03 Matte About You. This one I'm not as big of a fan of. It's kind of, it's a really bright shade. So it's one that I probably wouldn't get a lot of use out of, but also it kind of shows the dry patches on my lips more than a lot of these other ones. So it's less forgiving. So for me personally, this one's not my favorite, but some people may like it if they like a really bright color and you could always stick a gloss over it. This one is 04 Cinematic Kiss and this is probably one of my very favorites, if not my very favorite of the group. It's just a really pretty sweet pink. Um, it's just got that kind of like shift to it. It's like, it's like a pink with a pink shift. You know what I mean? A lot of pink happening here, but I really like it. It's sort of like the Barbie metallic liquid lipstick, but a little bit darker, like sophisticated Barbie. <laughs> I'm just rambling, it's a pretty pink. This one's a bright one and the name kind of reflects it. This is number 05 Dramatic Diva, and it is definitely dramatic. This is a bright fuchsia, um, it's fun, it's a good time, it's also kind of a Barbie lip. Um, this one's like a true, like this is a Barbie lip. But with this one, the only negative is it was a little patchy, like at first pass, so I had to kind of like go back in with it, add some more, and it did even out pretty well. Um, but with liquid lipsticks, kind of a lot of times the more layers you get, the more likely it is to like get weird or be uncomfortable, be more drying. So this one's not my favorite of the group either. So this one and this one seem to have some issues, but if you're looking for a bright color, this is an option. And again, maybe put a gloss over it. This one is really, really beautiful. This is number 06, Mattly in Love. Super cute name. And this one is just a beautiful reddish color. It's like a perfect holiday sort of a shade. This one was really even. You can even see it in the swatch. It just, it swatches evenly, it applied really nicely, it's beautiful looking, not quite as like metallic-y and duochrome sort of looking, but still has just a nice little bit of a sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. So it's kind of like a, hmm, I don't know. I was trying to think of what kind of a red is it? It's, I would say kind of just a mid-tone red. It's really not super warm, it's really not super raspberry pinky, if anything, maybe lean, leaning towards the pinky side, but mostly just a classic, beautiful red lip. This one's another one of my favorites. This is number 07 Automatic Touch, and it is a gorgeous sort of berry purple shade, and it's got like a sort of pinky shift to it. It's really beautiful, and I feel like it's one of those fun colors that isn't totally scary, like it's not a full-on purple. It's just sort of that like fun mix between a berry and a purple 
So I would feel more comfortable wearing something like this than a full on purple or like, I don't know, a super bright fuchsia. I feel like this would be easier to pull off at a work thing possibly or moving in that direction. Something where you can't go all out with your makeup where I wouldn't feel comfortable in a purple, wouldn't feel comfortable in a bright pink. This is somewhere in between, but still really fun. Babble, babble, babble. I like this one. This one's definitely more on the purple side. This is number 08 Raving Matte. And it's that sort of like grape purple kind of a shade. It has just a little bit of a shift to it, but not, I mean, when it's wet, when it's still drying, it has a little bit more, but once it starts to set, it doesn't have quite as much of that duochrome sort of a look to it. Um, so this one I still think is really fun. I think it would be fun for the fall, but I would have to be feeling a little sassy to wear this one. You know what I mean? Because it's a little bit more out there and definitely more of that purple, purple sort of a shade, but it is really pretty. It swatched a little bit unevenly, but I was able to even it up on my lips. So not quite the same in a swatch versus on my lips. It performed better on my lips. This one's another one of my favorites. This is number 09 Pure Matteness. And I love it because it is just different and funky and edgy. Like I would love to wear this with a band tee and just have that kind of like edgy rocker vibe. It is so fun. It's a very cool tone, sort of a brown and it has kind of like a coppery golden shift to it. Really, really beautiful and fun. Definitely not their sort of color. So you're having to kind of like be comfortable with those sort of interesting different sort of shades but really really pretty and especially on deeper skin tones this wouldn't be so whoa out there like it is on me because it's a super duper contrast but on deeper skin tones this would be a beautiful just kind of like i don't know more everyday kind of color but a little bit kicked up a notch and then lastly another one of my favorites this is number 10 pretty problematic and it is just a gorgeous dark vampy lip color. This one reminds me a lot of Maybelline's Divine Wine, which is one of my very favorite dark lipsticks. It's like a really, really deep purpley red kind of a color, like a really deep wine. And it's got a little bit of a shift to it, just sort of that like coppery sort of shift, but it really just comes off as being a dimensional dark vampy lip and I absolutely love this one. So those are all the shades. So quickly touching on the scent and the formula. So the scent is pretty much dead on to the Jordana liquid lipsticks. So if you smell those, these smell pretty much exactly the same. It's a really, really sweet sort of a scent. Like it's not like a vanilla. Well, not really. I honestly can't like pinpoint what the sweet, the sweet swell. <laughs> The sweet swell, the sweet smell is that I'm smelling, but it's just something really, really sweet, which I don't mind the scent. It's just really strong. So if you're sensitive to smells, just know that these do have a scent. It does wear off after a while, but when you're applying it, you can definitely smell it. The ones I can't handle are the like chemically perfumey, florally sort of scents. I hate those scents. This is nothing like that. This is more like a sweet candy sort of a scent. It's just pretty strong. The formula on these, they are a liquid lipstick, so they are a little bit drier on the lips. You know, my favorite liquid lipsticks are the Ofra ones. I feel like they're just more comfortable, but they do move a little bit more. So these stick around longer. They don't move as much, but they do feel drier than the Ofra ones. You know, I've tried quite a few liquid lipsticks and I feel like the ColourPop ones are some of the driest I've ever tried. These are not as dry as those. I would compare them to like the Kat Von D ones, um, maybe the Too Faced ones. Most of the Jordana ones, I feel like the Jordana ones I've tried, they're not all consistent, but the more comfortable ones of the Jordana ones, these are comparable to those. So I feel like they're kind of somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, but they are still a liquid lipstick. So you just have to go into it knowing liquid lipsticks are a little bit more dry on the lips, but they do stick around a lot longer than most lip products. All right guys, so that wraps up this lip swatch party. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what your favorite shade was that I showed, or if you already own some of these, what are your favorite shades that you own? I'd love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.